guys welcome back to my channel so today's video we're going to be looking at a few new elf products and i went on their site looking for one thing and i happened to pick up a bunch more products um i went on originally looking for the new retro paradise palette i figured i would do a full face of elf while we're at it so if you are new here hi my name is corinne i would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's get started so the first product i have is actually kind of funny it's just me not reading <laughs> well this was actually the free product that you got after spending a certain amount of money and this is the prep and glimmer stick and it comes in this box right here originally when i read that i thought it was a highlighter and i don't have any highlighters from elf so i was like okay this is perfect i can use it as a highlighter <laughs> wrong it is a primer <laughs> so it says prep and glimmer stick right there i'm going to use this as a primer all over my face so it comes in this giant stick form it's really clear it has a slight pinky nude tone to it again i said this in i think my boxy charm video that these things remind me of a kid's sunscreen <laughs> that you use to apply sunscreen to your face doesn't really have a scent to it. it smells more on my hands but it could be mixed with the lotion i have it feels nice it's not too tacky so i don't know how i feel about that so the foundation that we're going to use is the flawless satin foundation and that comes in this packaging i think i've used this before but like a long time ago so i don't remember what i think about it I know there was an e.l.f. foundation that I have used that I did not like the scent of it. So I'm hoping that's not this one. And it has a pump, which I like. And this, I picked the shade beige. So we'll see how that is. Actually, it might be better for me. And I'm actually going to be using the e.l.f. sponge because why not? So I'm just going to dab that. Okay. Oh man, okay, actually this is gonna look ridiculous, but I wanna add some of the poreless putty primer to the areas where my pores are a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to add that quickly and try to avoid where I just put foundation. Oh well. Then I'm gonna blend in that foundation before it dries in spots. little bit light for me but not too bad I'm actually going to try it on the other side with a brush so this is definitely a thicker formula not sure if I said that already already can't remember <laughs> so it actually might be better to apply it with a brush because a sponge is really not dense enough or hard enough to kind of blend out the thicker formula so it actually is working a lot better with a brush. Okay, actually that finish is really nice. I think you can probably go with a little bit more coverage. It is thicker than other formulas. So I probably wouldn't use too much because then it would just feel too heavy on my skin. And I am going in with the Hydrating Camo Concealer and I've never used this. This is in the shade Light Beige. So I'm hoping this will work out for me, but we'll see. It has a gigantic doe foot applicator, which I like. Okay, well, and that is way too dark. So, so the other one I have is Fair Beige, and that's this, like, look at the difference between the two of them. Whoops. So I am going to mix those in. So I'm actually going to just put that right on top and see what that does. I'm gonna try mixing them together. And this sponge is huge and it definitely, it's very bouncy. <laughs> so I actually think that looks pretty nice. It doesn't cover completely, like no concealer covers my under eyes completely, but I think that actually looks nice under the eyes. So shade was, but 
I like the concealer. I think it feels nice. So then I'm going to do my brows quickly. I'm only gonna do one brow on camera and then I'll do the other one off camera because I purchased a new brow pencil. This is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and I got the shade Cool Brown. So I'm hoping that's the right one and I didn't epically fail completely with all of the shades. This definitely has a harder formula. I don't know how else to say that. It's not as, it's not as soft as other pencils maybe. I had to move around a little bit. So if the frame changed, that is why. Um, next we're going in with powder and I actually don't have a full size powder. I just have this sheer powder. I think this is an eye powder. It comes in this little tiny thing. I'm just going to lightly set my under eyes. So actually, while moving things around, I just realized I didn't even finish doing my brows. I just moved right on to powder. So I, I need to finish the one brow and then do the other one off camera. I probably look ridiculous right now, but at least my under eyes are set. So let's finish the brows and I'll be right back. Okay, brows are done. So it's a little bit dark for me, but actually it doesn't match my hair. So maybe this is the shade that I should be using. I just feel like I look a little bit crazy with darker eyebrows. So maybe with everything else, it'll look a little bit better, but right now it looks a little bit crazy. Okay, so I've used these products before. I'm using the Primer Infused Bronzer and Blush. Here is the bronzer shade and then the blush is this really pretty peach it's always cheeky and that's right here it's so pretty so i'm going to use those really quickly and i'm going to be using elf brushes Okay, that's enough. I still can't get over my brows right now. They're a little bit too intense, a little bit too Lily Collins, and I cannot pull that off. So, looking a little weird, but I gotta move past that. So, then we are moving on to highlight, but I actually do not have an e.l.f. highlight. So I'm just going to be using the Wet n Wild highlight, and this is in the shade Precious Petals. So I'm just gonna throw that on really quickly. So now on to the eyes. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves here. Oh, by the way, I love this sweatshirt. It's from Old Navy. If you can see, it has that blue tie-dye. It's so cute. I'm so into tie-dye right now. I love it. So I will link that down below if you're interested. I got this also in red, white, and blue, and it's perfect for 4th of July. And it's really thin. And I love crewnecks, so comfortable, it's not too hot. And of course, being in Florida, I run my AC 24 seven, so it is a little bit chilly. I can actually wear this inside, no problem. Cannot go outside with it, I would die. But inside, it's okay, I love it. Anyway, back to makeup. So I want to swatch a little bit of this palette. It's so pretty. Look at this, I love it. And actually, I just watched um, Mandy Lee's video on this. She actually brought up a comparison with this palette and she talked about the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. And I never thought about that until she brought that up. And she's actually right. Like it is pretty similar, but it's definitely, I mean, 100% not a dupe. The Mercury Retrograde palette is definitely a little bit more teal. Like the pops of color are more teal or minty. So these three pops of color, or four, I guess, are a little bit different than that palette, but it is essentially the same idea. So this palette is a great alternative. So we are going to swatch, let's see, I wanna swatch. I did Fuego Sip Sip Bahamar and Tropicana, Tro Tropicana, Tropicana, which is the these four shades. So those are right here. The green is definitely a little bit chalky. Oh, there they are. Actually, the purple one is pretty powdery too. So that's from left to right, starting with Fuego. And we're going to be using e.l.f. brushes as well, just to stay on theme. So I'm going to take first, I'm just gonna take the canvas, the lightest shade in here, and I'm just gonna throw that all over my lid. I know I set it with powder, 
and my concealer was definitely lighter than my skin tone so it did leave a good base but i just wanted to add this color all over the lid just to kind of give it that canvas and that's what the shade's called so there you go that's what i'm using it for well actually i'm gonna go in with tropicana which is the purple shade and i'm going to run that in my crease but I'm going to pull that up too and this shade is pretty powdery so I'm going to kind of just let it go wherever it wants to go. I think it applied nicely. It, you can definitely see the color which is good. It's not super super pigmented. I did have to build it up a little bit but it's supposed to be that nice pastel purple. So then I'm going to dip into Royal, which is the pretty blue here at the bottom. And I'm going to just put that in the outer corner and run it a little bit into the crease. It definitely comes off lighter on the eyes, but it's a really nice shade, as I said with the purple, I just say the same thing. It's a little bit patchy, but I didn't really use that much, so that might be the case. Maybe I'm just gonna add a little bit more so that color really comes off. I really wanna use the bright shimmer colors, so I'm gonna take Disco, which is this purpley blue shade, more purple, I guess. And I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to add that to the middle to outer edge of my eye and kind of blending it in with the other blue shade. That's really pretty. It has a kind of shift to it. I'm actually going to pull that a little bit more towards the center because I really like that shade. Then I'm gonna go in with Sip Sip, which is the bright blue, and I'm gonna use my pinky and kind of just put that on the inner edge. Giving me major mermaid vibes with this. That first one is so pretty. Disco is gorgeous. I'm gonna go into the royal, the dark blue, and just kind of add a little bit more to the outer corners and blend it. Okay, I think we're good so far. I actually just want to add a little bit more of Sip Sip just with a brush so I can be a little bit more precise with it and add it to the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with Fuego, that corally color that we first swatch. And I'm just going to run that lightly underneath my lash line. It's not really showing up on my skin tone. I mean, it kind of is, but I feel like you really need to layer this to get the color payoff that you need. I think that's as good as we're gonna get with that shade. I'm gonna take a thinner brush and I'm gonna go into Spice, which is the red shade up here. And I'm gonna put that really close to my lower lash line. Okay, and then actually this Pareso, I don't know what that shade is right here. Ooh, look at that. There's a lot of glitter in there and the shift, both of those two right there are so pretty. I'm gonna take that Pareso shade and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line, but right towards the inner corner. I'm actually going to wet the brush for this because the glitter is kind of going everywhere. Okay, so I like how that looks so far. I wanna take Sea Salt, which is the white shimmery shade. Let's swatch that, I wanna see how that comes out. Oh yeah, that has a pink reflect to it, which is this top one. So let's take that on the inner corner first on the top lid. 
And that'll blend right into that Sip Sip shade on the top. And I am just going to actually grab that with my finger, not take too much. And I'm just going to kind of dab that right in the center of my lid. Just add a little bit more. So I'm gonna go over it a little, go over sip sip a little bit. I'm going to wet that one now and see if that's better. Oh yeah, that blue came off so much more with, with it wet. Okay, so I actually like how that turned out. See, I have a little bit of fallout. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of glitter. So I'm just going to take my powder brush and just brush that away. So I don't have a mascara from e.l.f. I've used a couple of their mascaras and I wasn't really a huge fan, so I didn't really want to buy another one. So I'm just going to use my Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Mascara is on and the last step would be lips. And I did purchase a new lip gloss from the Retro Paradise Collection. And this is the Dream On lip gloss. And I got the Strawberry Daiquiri shade. That is this pink shade and it's so pretty. There's a little Little, little glitters in it. I'm not gonna put a light liner on it or anything. I just wanna leave the gloss. It smells like a strawberry daiquiri. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, it makes me want one. I like that. It's not super pigmented. I don't have a huge problem with that. You can't really see the glitter flecks. You kind of can at a certain angle, but it's not too intense. So I really like that. I like the feeling of it. It's not sticky. I can barely even feel it on my lips. And the shade is really pretty. So I will definitely be using this one more. And I did actually purchase the new setting spray. And this is the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. It says 16 hour wear. I love the packaging on this. I love the color and it's very simple. It is infused with green tea, cucumber, and aloe known to nourish skin and keep makeup looking fresh as though you just applied it. Touch-ups are now a thing of the past. Let's see the mist. Ooh, it has a really fine mist. Let's see. Ooh, it definitely smells. I really like how that feels. Ooh, my skin just like sucked it right in, sucked up that hydration. It actually did finish my makeup. I, that's a good one too. I don't even remember how much this is, but it's e.l.f., so not that much. Not too intense of a smell either, and I sometimes don't really like that. If the smell is too much, I just can't stand it, especially if it lasts for a while. I really like that. I will continue to use that and see how I like it. I'll see how long it helps my makeup last. And the last new product I have to share with you is the new Glow Up Body Oil. And this was from the Retro Paradise collection as well. I got the shade, what did I get? Um, Sunkissed. I don't know how this is going to be. Let's roll this sleeve up even more. Now I'm just going to use a foundation brush and see how it looks on my skin. So let's see. Okay, that is really light. You can kind of see it, look how that glow. I was going to compare this with the Sol de Janeiro ones. This is definitely lighter than I expected. Let's see if you add another layer to it. It looks like there are like blue flecks in it. It definitely added glow to my skin. So I would be interested to see how that looks in the sun. There is a darker one of this and I thought about getting it because I do have the darker shade of the Sol de Janeiro, but I thought this one was going to be good. It's at, This actually might be a little bit light for me, but depending on how the light hits it, it might look better. It smells like pineapples with something else. It's like a pina colada. Mm. 
The price difference between this and the Sol de, Sol de Janeiro one, I think it's, this is like half the price, maybe. So I definitely want to compare those and see how it looks on the skin outside. But those are all the new products that I got to try out. I really like the eyeshadow look. And I think the shades turned out really nicely. I think they performed really well. And I, my favorite is definitely that purple shade, the disco shade at the bottom of the palette, the one that's kind of in the middle of my lid. I think it's such a pretty shade and that reflect is gorgeous. Overall, I liked it. The brow is actually not too bad with the rest of my makeup on. So that's good. I thought it was going to be a little bit too dark for me. The foundation looks really good. I don't know how I have not purchased this foundation before, but I think my skin looks really good right now. That completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.